Grazie, Presidente. Cari... Thank you, President. Colleagues, I'm taking the floor to say, first and foremost, that this debate about Ilaria Salis should not even have happened because we feel that this is a uh, request from the left, which uh, it's not about concerns for the person who's detained, but rather uh, the excuse to uh, attack Hungary and Italy during the electoral campaign, as shown by the attacks by the um, the uh, president of the uh, Democratic Party in my country, uh, Eli Schlein, against Meloni. Um, Meloni spoke with Orban to try and solve this situation, and the discussions are still underway. Now, we don't know whether Salis actually committed the acts of which he's accused, but what we do know is that for Ilaria Salis, generally speaking for all of our co-nationals who are detained abroad, the Italian government is pulling out all the stops, political and diplomatic, to ensure that all of them, all of them receive uh, dignified treatment and a, a due and rapid trial. There are thousands of people detained in European countries who are not in their own countries. I would remind you of that. So it's not the competence of the parliament to decide whether this person is guilty or not. But the parliament, the European parliament, certainly should ensure that standards of humanity in European prisons, in Hungary, as in Belgium, as in the Netherlands, as in France, are respected, and that these people who are detained receive dignified treatment and a fair trial. And that applies to Ilaria Salis, as it applies to any other person who is detained and awaiting justice. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next speaker is Mr. Lacapelle for the ID Group.